Welcome to PBS 39's Scholastic Scrimmage. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by... Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's InfoLink, toll free at 866-ST-LUKES, or visit sluhn.org. Support for PBS 39's educational programming is provided by the Deluxe Corporation Foundation. Proud to support quality programming on PBS 39. Scholarships provided by the Air Products Foundation. And now, here's your host, Joe Pacetti. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Scholastic Scrimmage on PBS 39. I'm your host, Joe Pacetti. When I began preparing for this season, I felt it necessary to start reflecting on what I know, or think I know, about trivia. Take the word itself. Trivia comes from the Latin trivialis, meaning found everywhere, commonplace. One meaning of trivia is unimportant matters. The medieval trivian, with a capital T, referred to the three required foundational areas of study for an individual edu educated in the liberal arts, grammar, logic, and rhetoric. Yet another oddity is that we use the word trivia to describe things that are unimportant or trivial. This likely came from yet another Latin noun, trivium, lowercase t, meaning a crossroads or a place where everyone travels and finds common things. Deep dives into content that we think we know can be a vigorous, intellectually affirming exercise. I'm not sure if this principle applies to the comment section of YouTube or cat memes or vines, rest in peace, featuring daredevil toddlers, but I do know that if you look closely enough at anything, you'll find value in doing so. That being said, let's begin the contest between Panther Valley High School Black Panthers and the William Allen High School Canaries by meeting the teams and their coaches. And we'll start on this side with Panther Valley. Caleb Nepper, sophomore. Charles Byers, sophomore. Erica Tout, junior. That is Carnes, sophomore. Panther Valley's coach is Michelle Martin. <laughs> now the team from William Allen. I'm Hannah Lankhammer Smith. I'm a senior. Victoria Durgan, also a senior. Peter Capote, and I'm a fr sophomore. I'm Isaiah Albertstein, and I'm a junior. William Allen's coach is Morris T. Smith. <laughs> our judges for today's contest are Sally Campbell, Gary DeLeo, and Kathleen Steele. To our audience, this contest requires rapid recall of facts and favors the resolute. Performances on this stage are not necessarily reflective of these students' academic experiences. At the end of the season, the two final teams will win scholarships for their schools from the Air Products Foundation. And remember, it's always easier to be an armchair quiz master than a competitor in this arena. We understand the rules, so let's begin the contest with a toss-up. What novel, which begins as lawyer Jonathan Harker travels to the Carpathians to meet the title Count, was written by Bram Stoker about a vampire? Alan. Dracula. Dracula is correct, and your bonus. The ghost of Ethel Rosenberg haunts Roy Cohn, while two ghostly ancestors haunt Walter, Prior Walter in what Tony Kushner play about the 1980s AIDS epidemic. Victoria. Our Little America. It was incorrect. Angels in America. It's a remarkable play. Toss up. Artist Guan Chi Sheng has carved thousands of portraits into the shells of what organic objects whose internal albumin layer protects a yolk? Alan. An egg? Eggs are correct. Your bonus. A prince disguised as a trombonist falls in love with Yum Yum, the ward of what Lord High Executioner in what operetta by Gilbert and Sullivan? The Mikado was the operetta. Toss up. What Austrian scientist showed how a wave function evolves with a quantum mechanical equation and described a thought experiment involving a cat? Alan. Schrodinger. That is correct, and your bonus. In Greek legend, a sword was suspended by a single horsehair above what envious courtier's head? Victoria. Midas. Incorrect, Damocles. It's the sword of Damocles. Toss up. What religion was documented on the rock and pillar edicts after the horrors of the Kalinga War caused the conversion of Maryin King Ashoka? Alan. 
Alan. Hinduism? That is incorrect. The question goes over to Panther Valley. <laughs> Buddhism was the correct response. Toss up. What man who was 25 years younger than his wife Brigitte founded En Marche and beat the National Front's Marine Le Pen to become France's president? Alan. Emmanuel Macron. That is correct. And your bonus. Former NBA center Bill Russell won 11 championships playing for what team, which was coached in the 1950s and 60s by Red Auerbach? Victoria. The Celtics. Celtics is correct. Toss up. What star, whose companion star is colloquially called the Pup, is found in the constellation? Alan. Sirius. Sirius is correct, and your bonus. What is the most common nickname for the man also known in 1888 as the Whitechapel Murderer, or Leather Apron? Victoria. Jack the Ripper. That is correct, Jack the Ripper. Toss up. In 1974, which European country's carnation revolution toppled the authoritarian Estado Novo of dictators Marcelo Caetano and Antonio Salazar? Alan. Spain and Portugal? Sorry, that's incorrect. Question volleys over to Panther Valley. Spain? That's incorrect. Portugal. Portugal was the correct response. Toss up. What country, the first to hold elections over the internet, was the site of 2007 protests over the removal of a statue in its capital of Talun? Alan. Georgia? Incorrect. Question goes over to Panther Valley. You were in the right area, Estonia. Estonia was the correct. It was one of those. Estonia was the one. Toss up. What man currently holds the web series Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee? Alan. Jerry Seinfeld. That is absolutely correct. And your bonus. What estate in Charlottesville, which is the only private residence to be featured on U.S. currency, appears on the nickel? Monticello. 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 Victoria. Monticello. That is correct. Monticello. Jefferson's residence. Toss up. What author who learned Kabbalah from Moshe the Beetle in the town of Siget described Alan? Ali Wiesel. That is correct, Ali Wiesel. And your bonus, what composer may have intended to use the Antracht in his Rosamund in his two movement eighth symphony, which is nicknamed Unfinished? Victoria. Beethoven. Schubert. Schubert was the correct response. Toss up. What mixed gland? has exocrine tissue that produces trypsinogen and has the islets of Langerhans, which are responsible for producing insulin. Panther Valley. Pancreas. Pancreas is correct. And your bonus question. What country is home to Booker Prize winning authors Thomas Keneally and Peter Carey, the latter of whom wrote a novel about the outlaw Ned Kelly? Australia. Australia was the correct response. Lightning round! Before the show began, we did a coin toss to determine who would go first. William Allen had won the coin toss. So what I will do is read two categories. You'll select one of those categories. You'll have one minute to respond to as many questions as you can. You need to buzz in, no conferring, but anybody can buzz in. If you don't know an answer, please buzz in and say pass. Okay. Your two options are turkey and college football. Yeah, there was no contest right there. College football. Very well, college football. Name these Division I college football programs. We're looking for the school, not the team name. Plays a rivalry game against Army each December. Navy. Correct. Is coached by Nick Saban. Alabama. Correct. Plays at the Big House in Ann Arbor. Michigan. Correct. Is nicknamed the Boilermakers. Purdue. Yes. Correct. Has a stadium near the Touchdown Jesus mural. Notre Dame. Correct. Plays on a blue-colored field in Idaho. Boise. I'm it. State. Correct. Is the alma mater of Andrew Luck and John Elway? 
Stanford. Correct. Won the 2017 National Championship behind quarterback Deshaun Watson. Clemson. Correct. Was coached for over four decades by Joe Paterno. Penn State. Correct. Plays Texas in the Red River rivalry. Oklahoma. Correct. That is a sweep, folks. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done. Well done. The confidence with which you went into that was just <laughs> remarkable. Okay, so Panther Valley. Turkey may not be as exciting as college football, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, so again, same rules apply. One minute, anyone can buzz in. If you don't know a response, say pass so we can keep moving. Answer the following about the country of Turkey. What is the capital of Turkey? Istanbul. Incorrect. Straight that cuts through Istanbul. Turkey Street. Incorrect. Colorfully named sea north of Turkey. Black Sea. Correct. Highest point in Turkey where Noah's Ark is said to have come to a rest. No answer. River that flows through Baghdad whose source is in Turkey. The Nile. Incorrect. Former Istanbul Mosque whose name is Greek for Holy Wisdom. Third most populous Turkish city and most populous Turkish city along the Aegean Sea. No answer. No answer. Peninsula north of the Dardanelles Strait, site of a 1915 Allied defeat during World War One. The Dardanelles Peninsula. Incorrect. Uh, and that brings us to the end of that bonus round. We had two questions left in that category. So the next time we have our lightning round later in the contest, uh, Panther Valley, you will get to have the first selection of, of your category. Okay. That's going to bring us to a toss-up. What Jewish holiday includes children searching for the Afikoman and the Seder? Passover. Passover is correct. And your bonus, what Russian scientist formulated the periodic law, which he used to arrange the first widely published version of the periodic table? Demetrov. Incorrect. Mendeleev is who we were looking for there. Toss up. What leader whose country was bombed by the U.S. in Operation Desert Fox ordered an invasion of Kuwait in 1991? Alan. Hussein. Correct. Saddam Hussein. Your bonus. What American general who led the victorious forces in 1794's Battle of Fallen Timbers was nicknamed Mad Anthony? Knox. Incorrect. Anthony Wayne. Anthony Wayne is what we're looking for. Toss up. Pencil and paper ready. How many boys are in a 32 person class if the ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 5, indicating there are fewer boys than girls? Alan. 12. 12 is correct. And your bonus, Scott Pruitt who firmly denies the existence of man-made climate change, is the head of what government organization? The Victoria. EPA. The EPA, that is correct. Toss up. What place, which is attended by three different Eric's and employs Mrs. Jules, is 30 stories high and titles a Lewis Sacker book of sideways stories? Alan. Wayside School. Wayside School is correct. And your bonus. Which Frenchman illustrated that Earth's spin was with his namesake, Pendulum? Leon Foucault, Foucault's pendulum. Toss up, what ballet features the Mouse King and her Drosselmeyer? Alan. The Nutcracker. The Nutcracker, that is correct. And your bonus, what director who made a cameo as a knife-wielding assailant in his film Chinatown fled the US in the 1970s after being convicted of a sex crime? Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski is correct. Toss up. Methadone treats withdrawal from what class of drugs that is derived from uh, poppies and includes drugs such as fentanyl, codeine, and morphine? Alan. Opioids. Opiates is correct. And your bonus. What segregationist Alabama governor carried five southern states as a third party candidate in the 1968 U.S. presidential election? George Wallace. George Wallace is correct. 
That's going to bring us to our halftime. The current score is William Allen 280, Panther Valley 20. Let's have a hand for our teams. At the break during each show, we'd like to take an opportunity to get to know more about of our, our, our competitors. Uh, this week, we're going to find out what person, past or present, each of our contenders on stage would have dinner with and why. We're going to start over here with Panther Valley. I'd say uh, Barack Obama. Because, oh, <laughs> never mind. If I could have dinner with anyone, it would be Caleb's grandfather. It's because he's a very interesting man. Cool. I would say Ronald Reagan because I enjoy his patriotism as president. I would say Ben Franklin because I'm very intrigued by his several inventions. Excellent. Alan? Um, I would say Sigmund Freud because I find his theories very interesting. I'd say Christiane Amanpour because I hope to follow uh, in the path she chose for her career. I'd like to be um, Margaret Thatcher and, and, that, and the reason why is how she changed Britain in only 11 years. I'd like to meet Donald Glover. I'm a big fan of his work and I think he's a modern day renaissance man. I think there's something really comical about seeing the Iron Lady and <laughs> Donald Glover <laughs> at, the same, at the same table. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. She could be a fan of 3005. Like, I have no idea. True. Okay. So it's going to bring us to a toss-up. In what country was King Farouk unseated by the Free Officers Movement, a dissident group funded or founded by future President Gamal Abdel Nasser? Alan. Egypt. Egypt is correct. And your bonus. What phenomena affected by Ekman spirals include the cold Benguela on the southwest coast of Africa and the Humboldt to the west of South America? Cyclones. Currents, or ocean currents. That's what we're looking for. Toss-up. A non-toxic bitterant is used to coat the cartridges of what hybrid video game console released worldwide in 2017, whose titles include Splatoon 2. Alan. The Wii U. Incorrect. Question goes over to Panther Valley. The Wii. Incorrect. You guys are in the right genre, the Nintendo Switch. Oh. Nintendo Switch. Toss up. What blue throated god rides the bull Nandi, burned off the first head of his son Ganesh with his third eye, and is husband of Parvati? <laughs> Shiva was the correct response. Toss up. What literary character declares, from hell's heart I stab at thee, while hunting for an animal aboard his ship, the Pequod, in the novel Moby Dick? Panther Valley. Moby Dick. Incorrect. The question goes over to Alan. Ishmael. Incorrect. I'm currently teaching this. This, this pains me. It's Captain Ahab. <laughs> Captain Ahab. That's OK. Lightning round. So we have two categories. Alan, you had selected the first one and clean swept the college football category. So Panther Valley, these are your two options. We have state mottos and national flags. flags. National flags. Okay, very good. Same rules apply, one minute. Anyone can buzz in. If you don't know something, you can ring in and say pass. Given a description of its flag, name the country. White and red with a red maple leaf. Canada. Correct. Vertical bands of blue, white, and red, known as the tricolor. Argentina. Incorrect. Three horizontal bands of red, white, and blue. This country is led from Amsterdam. The Netherlands. Correct. Nicknamed the Stars and Stripes. The United States. Correct. A red circle in the center of a white background. China. Incorrect. A square flag with a white cross on a red background. Switzerland. Correct. A blue globe and a yellow diamond on a green background. Brazil. Correct. Blue and white with the Star of David. Israel is correct. Three horizontal stripes of black, red, and yellow. Oh, Germany. Correct. The Sun of May is the center with blue, white, and blue horizontal bands. Argentina. Correct. Very well done, Panther Valley. So we go from national flags to state mottos. Same rules, one minute, no conferring. What state's motto 
is Eureka, referencing an 1849 gold rush. California? Correct. Is written in a Polynesian language. Hawaii? Correct. Refers to the North Star. This state contains the northernmost point in the contiguous U.S. Alaska? Incorrect. It is live free or die. New Hampshire? Correct. Is the Crossroads of America, which originally referred to its city of Terre Haute. No answer. Is north to the future. It was the 49th state. Uh, Hawaii? Incorrect. Translate as manly deeds, womanly words, which was the motto of the Calvert family. Massachusetts? Incorrect. Is oro y plata, which means gold and silver in Spanish. New Mexico? Incorrect. Translates as mountaineers are always free. No answer. References the 14th star because it was the first state after the original 13 to join the Union. Kentucky? Incorrect. Vermont was the last one. Vermont is what we were looking for there. Okay. Well done, Alan. Move back to our toss-up questions. Pencil and paper ready. What is the 11th term of the arithmetic sequence whose first three terms are 8, 14, and 20? Alan. 68. 68 is correct. And your bonus. What leader of the admirable campaign was South America's liberator? Bolivar. Could you Bolivar. repeat that? I'm sorry. Bolivar. Bolivar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bolivar. Toss up. What man? The subject of harassment accusations by Andrea Tentaros and Wendy Walsh. Alan. Re Roger Ailes. Incorrect. Question goes over to Panther Valley. I'll finish it up. What man? The subject of harassment accusations by Andrea Tentaros and Wendy Walsh was forced off his namesake Fox News show, The Factor. Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly is correct. And your bonus, what type of bond that holds together carbon monoxide molecules also links the carbon atoms in acetylene, which is the simplest alkyne? Covalent bond. Triple bonds. Triple bonds. Toss up. What group, who are named after a valley in the Dusseldorf region, evolved in Europe, unlike modern humans, and may have interbred with Cro-Magnons? Panther Valley. Neanderthals. Neanderthals is correct. And your bonus. Sir Toby Belch torments the steward Malvolio in what Shakespeare comedy, which depicts Duke Orsino's decision to wed a shipwrecked girl named Viola? With her and her brother Sebastian, it's Twelfth Night. Twelfth Night is what we were looking for there. Toss up. What particle postulated by a 2013 Nobel laureate produces a field that gives elementary particles mass and is a boson nicknamed the God particle? Higgs, the Higgs boson. Toss up. What island where Fiorella LaGuardia worked as an interpreter is in Upper New York Bay and was used as an arrival point for immigrants to the U.S.? Alan. Ellis Island. Ellis Island is correct, and your bonus. While over 40,000 vehicles were abandoned, Operation Dynamo evacuated over 330,000 Allied troops through what French port city in May 1940? Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Dunkirk is correct. Toss up. What novel, whose protagonist adores Joe DiMaggio and dreams about lions on a beach, is about a fisherman named Santiago Allen? Old Man by the Sea. We will not take that. Answer goes over to Panther Valley. Old Man in the Sea. Incorrect. It's the preposition. He's not by the sea. He's not in the sea. It's and the sea. And the sea is what we were looking for there. Big difference. Toss-up question is going to be a video question. If you could turn your attention to the monitors, please. Mama, just killed a man. What band mentioned the clown Scaramouche and claimed Mama Just Killed a Man in their song Bohemian Rhapsody, which was sung by Freddie Mercury? Alan. 
That would be Queen. That would be Queen. <laughs> Good job, and your bonus. A photographer named Jeff, played by Jimmy Stewart, spies on people in nearby apartments. In what film directed by Alfred Hitchcock? Psycho. It's not Psycho, it's Rear Window. Rear Window, very good film. Toss up, what president, who was in the office during the Quasi War and the XYZ affair, named John Marshall to, to the Supreme Court and succeeded George Washington? Alan. John Adams. John Adams is correct, and your bonus. In Matthew 13, Jesus tells a parable about a merchant who sells all he has to acquire what kind of gemstone? Victoria. Emeralds. Pearls, or a pearl. Toss up. What architect of H. Spruce Street designed the glare inducing Disney Concert Hall? Concert Hall, rather, and used a curved metal exterior in the Bilboa, Spain, Guggenheim. Alan. Right, Gary. Gary is correct, and your bonus. Mining the gold and mineral wealth of the lower Nubia region led to prosperity for what ancient northeastern African civilization's middle kingdom? Egypt. Egypt is correct. Toss-up. What 12-letter word means an expression used to analyze the roots of a polynomial and for a quadratic is represented as b squared minus 4ac? Alan. Factorization. Incorrect. Question goes over to Panther Valley. Discriminant. Discriminant was the one we were looking for. Toss up. What president, whose father Alfonso was Secretary of War, later became Chief Justice and allegedly once became stuck in a White House bathtub? Alan. William Taft. It is Taft. Your bonus. What libertarian economist wrote the books A Monetary History of the United States and Capitalism and Freedom? Uh, Stossel. Stossel? Incorrect. Friedman. Milton Friedman. Toss up. What book in which places such as the Slough of Despond and Vanity Fair are visited by an everyman named Christian is an allegory by John Bunyan? The Pilgrim's Progress is what we were looking for there. And that's going to bring us to the end of our contest. The final score is William Allen, 390, Panther Valley, 110. Let's please have a hand for both of our teams. It's always a pleasure to watch the best and the brightest showcase their immense talents, and we wish Panther Valley the best of luck in their academic endeavors. On behalf of Scholastic Scrimmage and PBS 39, thank you for your continued support and viewership. Though they may be at times teams of rivals, one truth remains, you can't beat brains. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by... Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's Info Link, toll free at 866-ST-LUKES, or visit sluhn.org. Support for PBS 39's educational programming is provided by the Deluxe Corporation Foundation. Proud to support quality programming on PBS 39. This program is recorded at the PPL Public Media Center at PBS 39 in Bethlehem.